Today I'm going to share with you how to use Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee in your living room and as your room decor color expert. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this paint color and I'm going to give you some valuable tips that you should follow before deciding to paint this color in your living room. So let's go. Painting your open concept home a white paint color is all the rage all across North America. You can find it in magazines, the blog, Instagram, and Pinterest, just to name a few. But for all of you that are watching this video right now, I want you to know that picking a white paint color for your home is a lot more complicated than you may think. There are so many people out there that are painting their room right now and then afterwards they will notice that there's an undertone and they will be surprised. I don't want this to be you. So when it comes to Swiss coffee, it's a beautiful paint color, but a lot of people think it's a white paint color. However, it's a grayish. Now watch this. Right here is Swiss Coffee by Benjamin Moore, and I want you to take a quick look at this picture right over here. I want you to get an up-close view of what this paint color looks like. Now, let's get some facts straight about Swiss Coffee. Watch this. When I compare it with Wheat Sheep by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened. There's a little bit of a gray-yellow undertone, but when I compare it with Grant Beige by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened there's a little bit of a green undertone. So what I want you to know about Swiss coffee is the grayish. It has a little bit of a yellow undertone and it's got a little bit of a green undertone. And this is why it's so important to compare this paint color with the undertones that you have in your living room. A quick tip about this paint color, it works well in both the north and south facing living rooms. Again, I want you to be careful when pairing this paint color with the interior decor that you may have in your living room. So for all of you that are new here to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information just like this video right here. All right, let's get back to it. It's important to pay close attention to the type of fabrics that you have in your living room, especially the undertones. So when it comes to interior decorating, I get a lot of clients who want their living room to feel open and refreshed. But I can personally tell you that Swiss coffee will not be able to do the job all by itself. You need to add color to your interior decor. So I'm going to give you a couple examples of some colors that go really well with Swiss coffee. It's going to make your living room feel open and refreshed. So I want to show you a couple of fabrics that goes really well with Swiss coffee. And this is just to give you an idea of what's possible. So let's say that you have a light pink fabric like this. When you compare it with Swiss coffee, it's going to make your living room feel soothing and cool. Now, if you want a pop of color in your living room, you can't go wrong with a blue green fabric like this. You can find these in throw pillows and blankets and so forth. Now, another fabric color that goes really well is this, a linen. If you have linen fabric, maybe you have a sofa. It does a really good job of making your living room feel open and refreshed and clean. Also, if you have a rug that's like this with a little bit of off-white and some blue, again, that will go really well with Swiss coffee. But you want to stay away from clean whites or any whites that have blue undertones. The reason behind this is that it's going to make your wall paint like Swiss coffee look old and dirty. I have a couple quick tips when it comes to pairing Swiss coffee with the fixed elements that you may have in your living room. I want you to get an idea of how this color can work in your living room. So watch this. For all of you out there that have dark hardwood flooring in your living room, such as this oak wood flooring right here, or maybe you have a Keisha or maple to name a few, they go really well with Swiss coffee. But if you have carpets in your living room, that's a different story. It's a complex topic, but to keep it long story short, what will happen is that Swiss coffee can potentially make your carpets look old and outdated and vice versa with the wall paint color. And there's something else I want you to know. If you have a fireplace that has ceramics or maybe you have tiles that have a white like this, a true white, or maybe a blue undertone in your white, you want to stay away from Swiss coffee. 
And if your floor trims are white or blue white, you want to paint them or stay away from Sweat's Coffee. Now, I want all of you out there to pay attention to your fixed elements that you have in your living room. Make a paint sample and compare it because the last thing I want to happen is for you to make a mistake that you will later regret. So what do you think of Sweat's Coffee in your living room? Or if you have any questions that you want to ask me, let me know in the comment section down below. Swiss Coffee is a beautiful grayish paint color. It can make your living room feel open and refreshed as long as you pair the undertones correctly with the fixed and furnished items that you may have in your living room. If you need help on finding the perfect paint color and you want it professionally done, then check out the link in the description section down below. I can show you how I can help you without ever stepping foot in your home, regardless where you live in North America. Until then, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next week.